Hi everyone. We are exposed to huge amounts of information every day, but have you ever thought that if what you're seeing or reading is true? We know in most cases you don't even think about doubting something you heard on the news or on the radio. We wanted you to get a bunch of facts and affirmations straight and decided to make this video to tell you about 15 myths you probably still believe in. Let's get it on. The 5 second rule. You're stretching your arm to get some more of your favorite snack, and… Oh no, what the hell? It fell on the floor. But that's okay, if you take it off the floor really quickly, the microbes won't take over your food. Seems pretty innocent, doesn't it? And it looks like nobody saw you picking your food up from the floor, so mischief managed. But hold on a little. Turns out the germs don't really wait three or five seconds before attacking the fallen piece of food, they do it right away. Yes, we know it's a terrible behavior, but what can we do? Rubber tires. Do you think that rubber tires can somehow save your car from being hit by lightning? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but this is just a myth too, and thousands of people believe in it for some reason. Of course, if you end up in the middle of a storm, it's much safer to be inside the car than outside. The vehicles themselves provide a great protection from lightning, but not because of rubber tires and their mystical superpowers. When the lightning hits the car, it gets into the metal frame that protects the passengers by being a current conductor and carrying the charge to the ground. So beware of convertibles and motorcycles, most likely they won't protect you from lightning, even with the most expensive rubber tires you can find. Brain cells don't regenerate. We really wanted to tell you this, brain cells regenerate all right, and quite quickly too. However, until 1960, scientists and ordinary people too were convinced that brain cells couldn't regenerate whatsoever. Well, unless you were Wolverine or some other Gene X carrier. Fortunately, experts from the US and Sweden universities busted this popular and terrifying myth. They proved that the brain tissues have an amazing superpower. They can separate and replace old parts that can't function anymore. So don't worry, you won't wear your brain out. Vaccines and autism. No, no, no. Vaccinating children doesn't cause autism-like disorders. At least nobody still has proven it. You might think that worried mums made up these scary stories, but actually no, it's quite different. In 1998, a famous medical magazine published an article assuring that one popular vaccine could cause autism in kids. Later, this information was disproven and the magazine apologized like a thousand times, but it was too late for the rumor. Furthermore, some parents still don't want their kids to be vaccinated and, well, it doesn't end pretty. Acids nor skin. Now tell us, are you afraid of acids too? All these little bottles of vinegar your mum scared you with. It's terrifying just to think about what can happen if even a little drop falls on your skin, but we're going to reveal a secret for you. Actually, most acids are pretty weak, and they usually aren't salt pure, so they can't harm human skin. Of course, there are plenty of dangerous solutions like hydrochloric, azotic, and sulfuric acids. Criminals usually use them, so you're unlikely to find it just lying around. Sugar Rush we know your parents often tell you that you can't eat too many sweets, and not only because they can cause damage to your teeth or spoil your appetite before dinner, but because lots of sweets in your diet can affect your activity. In other words, if you treat yourself to a chocolate bar or a piece of candy before going to bed, it's possible you won't be able to sleep or you can even start running around the house, scaring the hell out of your cat, fish, and downstairs neighbors. So, if you still believe in this myth, here's a revelation for you. Some time ago, the American Medical Medical Association conducted various tests, and about 16 scientists couldn't find a connection between human behavior and sugar use. So, if you like to eat some sweet snacks before going to bed, don't worry, stay calm and keep eating. The full moon makes people go nuts. Actually, a full moon can affect people, only if they're werewolves. Well, you know, right? Fur all over the body, sharp teeth, wolf paws, and a huge dislike for the potions professor. In all the long and rich history of humankind, 
The moon was attributed a lot of magic features and a strong connection with otherworldly forces. And believe us, the human wolves are the most innocent among this bunch of monsters. But in spite of all these creepy and mysterious myths, official science could never find any major connection between moon phases and human behavior. Yes, many criminals try to justify themselves by telling they couldn't resist the moonlight, but their statements were totally made up. The Highest Mountain Now tell us, which is the highest mountain on Earth? Nah, -uh, you didn't guess? It's not Everest. Because that's only 29,029 feet high, which is almost 4,500 feet smaller than the place we're talking about. The Mauna Kea volcano in Hawaii is 33,474 feet high, so it's obviously the first one in the list of the highest places on Earth. But how come nobody knows about it? The thing is that the biggest part of Mauna Kea is located underwater, so technically, this is a semi-underwater mountain. But this doesn't change the impressive height, does it? Big Ben if you believe that Big Ben is this big watchtower, the symbol of the United Kingdom, which you can find on lots of souvenirs and gift stuff, then, well, actually this is just another myth, which is pretty much what people believe in. Big Ben is really the nickname of the huge 14-ton bell behind the scale plate of the gigantic watch. So this bell marks the time. No but nobody would name a whole tower after just one bell. So for a long time, it's been called St. Stephen's Tower until 2012 when it's changed its name officially. Now, it didn't become Big Ben to simplify tourists' life. It got the name of Elizabeth Tower to honor the jubilee of Queen Elizabeth. The Highest Waterfall Here's another trick question. Which waterfall is the tallest? Of course, it's not Niagara Falls and not even Angel Falls. Can you guess it? If not, we'll tell you then. We're talking about an underwater waterfall. And don't be so surprised, this is real. This nameless waterfall is 11,500 feet tall, and it's located in the Denmark Strait between Greenland and Iceland. To be honest, we can hardly imagine how a waterfall can be underwater in the middle of an ocean, but sometimes Mother Nature can be incredibly mysterious. Coin on rails If you've heard somewhere that a coin placed on the rails can throw a train under a slope, don't believe it because it isn't true. Imagine the weight of a big train, all right? Now tell us, how could a coin of any kind interfere with the movements of this giant that weighs a few tons? I don't know. That's right, there's no way. This trick, of course, can work with a toy train, but not with a huge iron monster. Gadgets and Cancer the information that various electrical devices and appliances can cause such a dangerous disease as cancer is distributed literally everywhere, on radio, television, and other media. They all urge you to give up from frequently using your favorite mobile phones and the common little electronic helpers in everyday life and literally become an old person. But don't panic, we're not trying to intimidate you. On the contrary, we want to protect your favorite devices. They won't cause you cancer because they're not ionizers. Long story short, only X-rays and gamma rays formed in the process of a nuclear explosion represent a real danger. So it's worth worrying about being out under the sun, not about your microwave or mobile phone. Visual contact. Surely many of you have heard that if you really want to catch a liar when he's telling some bullshit instead of a true story, you just have to look them in the eyes. That's the case. And if your friend looks away, up, down, and generally anywhere, he definitely lies. But wait, don't get your hopes up high. It turns out that during a lie, a person can look calmly into the eyes. Yeah, just like that, staring shamelessly. He can tell you any tale he wants and you're not even going to suspect it. Let's say more. Even a lie detector doesn't always work, and often these devices are simply useless. So, without a precious preparation, it is incredibly difficult to discover a good lie, no matter how hard you try. The Largest Desert and now tell us, which is the largest desert in the world? No, it's not the Sahara, as you thought. In fact, the world's largest desert is the Antarctica, an area of up to 5.5 million square miles, while the Sahara is only 3.5 million square miles. But wait a minute, 
How come the Antarctic is a desert? Contrary to popular belief, deserts are not just a hot, dry, sandy, and lifeless place. A desert is actually any land that receives a very small amount of precipitation, and Antarctica is simply the record holder. Less than 51 millimeters of rain fall here every year. Walking in the rain. Remember yourself as a child. We all like to run in the rain and jump into puddles in parents' despite. And they, in turn, constantly said that you could easily catch a cold, get sick, and get a runny nose. We frankly also think so, but we decided to investigate a little bit on the internet to find out if this is really so. Some experts believe that if you set a proper mood and come out in the rain in a festive or fighting mood, you can't be afraid of getting sick. Even a runny nose won't get you. A stress adrenaline rush will protect you better than a raincoat and a pair of rubber boots. If you haven't checked Jelly Gummy Bear's channel yet, you should do it right away. You'll certainly like all the funny experiments with a jelly bear. Ouch. Cool life hacks, awesome homemade stuff, and exciting adventures that are waiting for you on the channel. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.